Hi, it's Lisa Cunio. Welcome to my scrapbook table. Today's layout is for the Get In Shape YouTube Hop, um, which is was created by Shannon Blinn, and we're using basic shapes on scrapbook pages. This week's shape is chevrons, and you'll see in a moment that I'm going, oh, there it is. I'm gonna use this large chevron stencil. I um, created a mask because I just want it in the center of my page. I used some pixie spray on the stencil to hold it down. And I have this white texture paste or modeling paste, I guess it is, to put on there. And I, um, I want a nice thick coating. So I take my time and at first, it just seems kind of odd, so I wondered, did I pick up my transparent modeling paste? But I didn't, it's white. Um, it just seemed a little odd going on, but once I got, once I got about halfway through, it seemed like it was gonna be okay. I love doing stuff like this because it is so fun when you lift it off and you get to see what's behind. That's my favorite part. It did take a long time to dry though. I didn't, I guess I just wasn't thinking. But, um, so it ended up, I went upstairs, my husband and I had lunch. I came back down thinking it was dry, stuck my finger in it, and no, it was not dry at all. So I had to set it aside for a while. This is several hours, um, it took several hours to dry, probably because I did such a thick coating, but that's okay. I did a couple other layouts in the middle. So as I do this voiceover, it's almost midnight here. Um, so I might be a little tongue-tied because I'm not able to think quite as clearly because I'm pretty sleepy, but I was determined to get this done before I went to bed. And so there, everything is cleaned up off my desk. And here's the best part. <laughs> Look at that. I just love that part. Um, I pull my mask off. I just had that on with um, some temporary adhesive. I like the Creative Memories one. And so that's what I always use for things like this. And I did take my stencil and my little palette tool upstairs and clean those off pretty quickly so that it didn't dry and create a mess for me. Now it's dry and I'm going to sew around the edge because that's on the sketch I'm using as well. Put a little bit of washi tape over the thread on the back and I know I'll use something to cover up the extra threads on the front. And you can't see the threads real well right now but in person they stand out nicely and I'm really happy with those. I have some papers here. All of the paper, everything on here that I'm using today, except the doily, is from the Woodland Grove collection from Maggie Holmes. I got this for Christmas from my husband. Um, most, yeah, I, most, well, I don't know. Half my Christmas gifts were scrapbook related. And originally I was going to do something else. So you can see I have some other strips of paper over there but I ended up just using these two. The sketch I'm using today is from Miranda Weber of My Scrappy Life. She actually has three volumes of sketches for sale at her site, which I will link below for you. And um, so since it's paid content, I can't show you the sketch, but her sketches are great. They're easy to follow and um, I'm really pleased with them. Also down below, I will try to put the links for the other YouTubers who are participating in the Get In Shape YouTube Hop. If I can't do that, because I had trouble with that last week, I will, um, I will link one person's and hopefully their comment section will have links to all the others for you. So I've cut down my um, photo. It was a little bit too big. And this is a photo of me and one of my favorite former students, 
she was home on winter break and actually this was just yesterday we met for brunch and um, she just finished her first semester of college and I've known her since she was 14 so it was just so special to sit and talk with her and hear about her first semester and all the challenges and all the great things and I'm just I'm really proud of her and um, yeah it was really really special to get to do that and I didn't mention to her like putting this on YouTube or anything so for her sake I um for her privacy sake I covered her face and I'll do the journaling after after the video and photos are done because I don't I didn't talk to her about it so I don't want to don't want to put that out there on YouTube if she's not comfortable with that I decided a doily would look good on here and so I cut it in half I'm gonna put half of it above our photo and that's where the title will be put a little bit of liquid glue and get that on there and you'll see that I tried this other half in several different places ultimately it ends up in the upper right hand corner and I'm really happy with putting it up there it was just a let's try this and once it was there I'm like hmm I like that also I do have my liquid glue back again when I first went to order that a few weeks ago I couldn't order it I don't know what was going on but it it just would not let me order it um, so I kind of gave up and I bought a different one that I don't, don't like as much but I just bought it at Joann's just to have something to use for liquid glue but then when I was on Amazon the other day I could order it so I did and I'm happy to have that back now it's um, the barely yeah barely art precision craft glue and um, in a in a video later in the month you'll probably hear me say the same thing because I just realized I said that in one of the voiceovers I did earlier today but that's not going up till later so oh well so I pulled out the stickers letter stickers from this collection to spell out well the gold ones say brunch and then I had some green tile letters in my stash so it just says special brunch I pull out some of the stickers floral stickers from the 12 by 12 collection too and I decide to back those with some fun foam so that they stand up a little bit one of them will be in the upper right hand corner and on that doily I have a label and I'm sorry you can't see it you will see it in the still shots I I thought I kept my paper in the screen but obviously not anyway there's a label on the doily up there a flower and on the label there was a sticker from the sheet that said plant seeds of love and watch them grow and I just thought that was perfect here so I put a little golden white frame there I put a peacock sticker on it and and that kind of fits because I am really proud of this young woman I put a label under our photo and it just says yours truly which is the name of the restaurant we went to the town we were in and the date which was 1 12 24 I draw some lines for journaling below that I think I did six or so various lengths have some puffy hearts I scattered around and I, I decide oh I'm gonna do one more first I think I'll do it up there by the label but I end up putting it where the end of the journaling will be and there we go and lastly I decide to use some Dina Wakely white gloss spray the sprayer thing isn't working I'm not sure why it's brand new I'll have to fiddle with that later but I just pulled it out and um, 
tapped it on my finger. And then to get a few, a few spots, you know, strategically, I just put them on there on purpose. Pulled the thing off that I had covering our photo, and here are the still shots. Thanks for joining me today. Be sure to check out the others on our hop. Bye.